So now let's see how we can add around mess and adjust its properties that pops up after you add in the object inside of Blender. So to add in an object first, I need to press set A on my keyboard. And once I do that, you can see that the mess shows up. And over here, uh, you can see on the mess menu, there's plane, cube, circle, and different uh, shapes that I can actually bring in. Let's say, for example, I want to bring in cylinder, then cylinder is here. I can also do the same thing by going on to the add section right here. And as I hover over, you can see that the shortcut key actually shows up right there. And if I were to click here, you can see that there's many options over here. So there's mess, there's curves and everything. But in this lesson, we're going to focus with mesh. So if I were to go over here and click on cube, you can see that cube has been added. And if I were to click over here, you can adjust different things right here. But as soon as you click somewhere else, you can see that it actually disappears. So I'm just going to delete this out and add in that object again. So I'm just going to go around into add mesh and cube. And if I were to click and drag it, you can see that it expands out right here. Or I can click and type in the value that I want. Let's generate UVs and everything else, which you're going to see in further lessons. So here you can see that I can work around with the location right here with its rotation. Of course, I can work around with all of these things from the properties panel as well later on. But uh, you get this option only when you actually add this object right here. So this is one object. Let's see uh, the other object. So depending upon the object, you got different properties to work with. So if I were to go to uh, uh, the uh, add uh, menu right here and go to mess. So this is cube that we work around with. So if we were to go to plane, you can see that there's the meter right here and uh, there's the location right here. So if I were to go to add right here on mess and go to circle, then I have different option like radius, like location and so forth. So if I were to go to add mesh, then you can see that there's the UB sphere that I can work around with and I can work around with the segments and rings right here to control the level of detail and I, I can increase and decrease the radius as well and move the location of the sphere right here and rotate it around according to the way I want. So I'm just going to go around and delete this out as well. And I'm going to click on add. And if I were to go to mess, there's other object like there's eco sphere right here, which is made up of triangular faces. So if I were to go around and increase the radius, I can go around and increase the level of detail right here, change around the location as with other objects. So let's explore some other objects as well. So there's a cylinder right here, which I can increase out the vertices right here. I can go around, increase out the radius, the depth right here and work around with different things. I can also work around with different cap fillings right here and enable and disable the cap as well. I, I, I can uh, go to add right here, go to mesh and over here I can work around with cone. I can increase and decrease the vertices right here. I can work around with different things for this one as well. And I can go to Taurus. So Taurus, again, you can work, work around with a level of detail for different options and so forth. So if I were to go over here, there's Taurus, there's grid that I can work around with. And there's even a monkey face that I can work around with over here, which is provided by Blender. So I can work around with the size and I can work around with the position right here and work around with this the model, which is pre-built. And that is how you can add mesh and uh, adjust its properties inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.